to the Deloach family. I'm here this evening because I am sick and tired of being sick and tired. <laughs> um, we, as a people, must stand together. We have to fight day and night until we make all these wrong things right. And I'm taking those words from Brother Bob Marley, okay? Um, every day when we sit down to have our meal or to put our young kids to bed, we must think about the things that happened to us over the past years. I've been a citizen of this city since 1959. I've seen a lot of things go down here. Some things, they call them urban renewal, was urban removal, okay? These types of things we must stand up against. We as people, a lot of us are unemployed, and a lot of us need to take ourselves down to the family court in New Brunswick to see what's happening to our youth. At the age of 12, you can be given 25 years in jail for a simple crime, okay? You, uh, something that you may not even be guilty of, and they know that you aren't guilty of, but you must pay someone to defend you, then all their interest in is what can you give that I can buy a summer home, a boat, go on a vacation. We must take ourselves down. Incidents happen, our children cannot walk the street for being harassed. If they ever were in trouble, if something happens in their neighborhood, we're the first to get the knock on our door to call our children's names. These people are terrorizing our children. They are the terrorists, not us. We need to speak to our youth about the dumb killings that are going on. We don't make guns or bullets or bombs, but we every day are dying. Look at what happened yesterday in New York. Senseless, senseless. It's too much in too short a period of time. You know, please let us all still stand together because we are one, one blood. We must recognize that. Thank you all. How y'all doing? Thanks for coming out. This is my brother Barry. Um, a lot of people probably wonder why I don't do much talking. I'm not lost for words. I'm capturing the feelings. The feelings I don't never get back again because he's not here with me. So um, my mind now wonders. I wonder what it would be like if I had him here now. I also wonder what it would be like the friends that are also other ones that was lost wrongfully. But the right thing to do is to get justice, make sure this don't happen to no one else. There's only one right. You can't make you know, two rights. It's one right. And we, as all of us together, join this one. That's strength. That's power. That's right. yes. And only things bigger than that is God. That's right. Stick together. Hold ourselves. We got each other back. Let's not give up. Right. Keep hope alive. brother um like my brother just said i'm kind of choked up for words um i'm just glad the way that everything turned out today i'm sure that my brother if he was alive he'll be proud you know um you guys have to excuse me i'm getting teared up <laughs> You know, ever since this happened, I've been thinking about all the people here in New Brunswick. I really have. Because this has been happening to a lot of families. 
Too many families, too many. And like we said before, we were family number four and shouldn't have even got this far. Something's wrong with this police department and they know it. They're killing us like we're strictly animals, which we are not. Now, since this has happened, there are so many people coming to me at random, some people that I don't even know, but these people feel my pain, they feel my family's pain, and they, like, they tell me stories that they go through every single day in their lives, and this is not even stopping. We're the one that can make a difference. We are the ones that can make a difference. When I look at all these kids out here, I'm thinking, this is our future. This is not what they're supposed to be seeing. We are the ones that, as a matter of fact, the police are the ones that should be making the difference because they're the ones that's supposed to be protecting us. And you see what they're doing? And they're doing it from city to city. Because like I said, this is not only happening in New Brunswick. This is a nationwide thing going on. But the one good thing about it is that New Brunswick is on the map. We are making a difference. And right now, we're going to let them know that we're not stopping. This is just the beginning. You done killed one family too many, it won't happen again. Because when you see this march, it's going to continue today, the next day, the next day, until we get justice. Because you know what? The Deloge family is behind your family. We're going to make sure that your family is protected next, that it won't happen to you, all right? They're supposed to serve and protect, not harass and neglect. Serve and protect, not harass and neglect. Harassing and neglecting since the early 80s, probably even before that. It's not just. We out here, no justice, no peace, right? right. So, right. we're going to march until these officers are prosecuted, indicted, and out of the force forever. And then when the force come back, they're going to have cultural sensitivity. They're going to have, they're going to have a new vision for this community. And we're going to stay in their faces 24-7, just like Citizen Action Board can get these tax subsidies pushed away and major corporations to disappear, well, we're going to know it. We're going to blow up their fax machines. We're going to blow up all different type of aspects of, of them peacefully, meaning we're going to march. We're going to be at the city hall council. This is war. War is preparation. So we're prepared to attack them on all levels, all levels, humanitarian, socially, everything. You can imagine and more. So as I'm saying, we represent the spirit of the people that has passed and we move in with their essence, move with their essence forward to a new future, to a brighter horizon which shows that this community is not gonna be impoverished ever again, and it's gonna stand tall, and we're gonna be meeting with people, the YMCA, Women's YMCA, Direct Action Coalition. The Direct Action Coalition, once again, we are the Direct Action Coalition that are direct action of this community being, being impoverished and being against injustice. Once again, we had to balance out those justice scales. Let's not talk about what the justice scale really mean. That go back to who we are once again. But um, <clears throat> y'all ready to march? Yeah. Huh? I can't hear y'all ready to march? Yeah. Huh? You got the progenitors to march right there. Hmm? You ready to march? Yeah. They ready? Y'all yeah. ready? Yeah. Let's get there. Come on. Yes. Together we will stand, peoples. United we will stand, divided we will take a harder fall. Let's stand together. Um, can I get a call to the, um, all the members of the Deloach family? Can you stand up front right quick? Yes, we'll call it to all the members of the Deloach family. Pastor, show up. Ladies and gentlemen, we, we will be rallying and marching out in approximately like five to seven minutes, okay? We just wait for one more event and we want to address the family once again. Uh,
Hey, very quick, everybody, I just got a quick announcement that I need to make real quick. I have all your attention. Listen, about 20 minutes ago, a young man got into an incident with a police officer. Somehow, I wasn't there, I was up here, none of us was there. We don't know what happened. Allegedly, he struck an officer. I don't, you know, but this is the thing. That's not us. That's right. you gotta hear first. They're not gonna, you know, that's they, they're not gonna staple that to us. We gotta remember that's not what we're about. If you're gonna leave here and go strike an officer, don't even walk with us. You take another direction. If your intentions is to use this movement to get some aggression off that you wanna get off, please fall back. Because I'm telling you now, none of us are with that. You know, none of us are behind that movement. That's a movement that you're in by, that's a fight that you're fighting by yourself. So be clear that once we disperse and you feel like running up on the officer and doing whatever you want, please don't come back to us. Don't call the DAC, don't call the NAACP, don't call the Latino, don't call any organization because that's not what we're out here for. We're not out here for that. You know, it's, we got children out here all different races, all different ages, and we're gonna entertain that. We're gonna have a good time today. We're not gonna allow anyone to destroy that. No one. So we're about to walk in a couple seconds. Before we walk, I'm gonna tell you real quick, we're gonna go pay respect, we're here, because you know, the Brother Deloach. We love him and we miss him. But we also wanna pay respect to Miss Adams. Can, a lot of people never been to where she was killed at. We're gonna take a walk there. And then you know what? We're gonna walk and we're gonna go visit our brother Sean Potts. And we're gonna hang out with him. We gotta feel their souls, cause they're all looking down on us right now. And, and, and through this whole protest, we haven't forget, forgotten none of them. So let's definitely not get sidetracked. We don't know who got arrested. And we're not gonna jump to conclusions and say that the police did this or he did that. We don't know. We just know it wasn't us. It wasn't us. Thank you guys. We'll be marching in a minute. Oh, hold on. Um, I, got, I got a little something for the Deloach family that we put together for the family. You know what I'm With appreciation and love for y'all. All right? You ready, bro? All right. <laughs> what if God is unhappy with our praise? What if he is not pleased with the words we say? What if he takes away his love and his spirit from above? What if God is not happy with our praise? What if God is unhappy with our praise. What if he is not pleased with the way we give? What if he takes away his love and his spirit from above? What if God is unhappy with our praise? 
We must change the world.